Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a tarantula. So let's get started. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way while I draw, I will give you some fun facts about tarantulas. So today I'm going to be using the website uh, ducksters.com to give you the fun facts and it has a nice picture here as well I just chose this website because it has some fun facts that we can all learn about uh, tarantulas so if you are new to my channel and would like to send me a request for me to draw for next time please let me know by commenting below or you can comment below and let me know of anything else as well and if you want to connect with me through other social media I have my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter information in the description box below. You can connect with me through those uh, media as well. So going back to the drawing, I'm dro going to draw the body of the tarantula first and then I'm going to extend the extend to the legs as well. And this is going to be a very easy drawing. It's not a hard drawing to draw. Um, I'm just going to draw the back surface of the tarantula. So. Um, to give you some fun facts, the tarantula is a type of spider or arachnid um, and tarantulas are part of the scientific family Therophocidae. Um, like all spiders, the tarantula has eight legs and the legs and body are covered with hair. So lots of hair, that's what I'm drawing um, there uh, with the lines. Um, to me, the back side of the tarantula body is like a small miniature coconut um, when it's all peeled. So that's really funny. But um, anyways, that's how I see it. So um, anyways, the legs and body are covered with hair. So some of the hairs on their ab um, abdomen called uh, uticating hair or urticating hair can be thrown at an enemy to cause irritation so they help the tarantula to ward off predators it's one of their uh, defense mechanisms to have hair and um, throw them at enemies and tarantula size can vary in size depending on species so their body length varies from 1 to 4 inches while their leg span varies from 3 to 10 inches. They can be pretty big. The largest tarantula, the one with the 10 inch leg span, is called Goliath Bird Eater. Um, there is a picture of a Brazilian white knee tarantula um, on this website if you want to check um, the pictures. And they mostly eat insects though. The larger tarantulas will eat small animals such as mice, birds, frogs, and lizards. They sneak up on prey and pounce at, on them. So, envenoming uh, their prey rather than catching it in a web like many spiders. So, once the prey is caught, they secrete digestive enzymes into the prey that basically liquefies the body so the spider can eat it. Isn't that interesting? Very different from other spiders where they wait until um, prey gets caught into their web. Uh, this uh, tarantula's way of uh, catching their food is a little different. So going back to the drawing you can see now I'm just adding in the legs so, um, and um, apparently there are over 800 species of tarantulas um, and they can be found all over the planet including North America, Africa, Asia, South America and Europe. So you can't really get away from tarantulas, they're everywhere. So they live in many habitats from deserts to rainforests but generally in warm environments. So some tarantulas live in the ground while others live in the trees. So you can't really get away from tarantulas. They're in rainforests, they're in the deserts, they're on trees, they're on the ground. 
and if they live in the ground they make a burrow to live in which they live which they line with their silk or web if they live in trees they make a tube tent out of their silk to live in um, and even so all every so often tarantulas shed their skin um, the exoskeleton in a process called molting when they are young and growing they will molt more often once they are older they will molt around once a year or if they have a lost if they have a lost a leg or some of their hair the males rarely molt once they have become adults and they are venomous so but how dangerous they are to human varies from tarantula to tarantula some bites are similar to wasp sting while others have been known to make a human very sick so many are harmless to humans and rarely bite. I've seen people hold tarantulas on their hands and they have them as pets. So uh, people do like to have them as pets. So it can be that dangerous um, to have them unless they think that you're an enemy, I guess. Um, so like I said they are becoming a popular pet um, and one of their predators is the Pepsi wasp which has the nickname tarantula hawk and females can lay up to 2,000 eggs so you can get away from them and they lay a lot of eggs so they're not gonna be extinct anytime soon females can live up to 30 years old and they live longer too and tarantulas climb with the aid of uh, retractable claws that are at the end of each leg and they can regrow lost legs through multiple molting okay so those are the fun facts that I got from this website it is the ducksters.com um, so if you know a fun fact or if you have a tarantula as a pet uh, what do you feed them and uh, do you like to pet it how do you pet a tarantula you just do you just have it uh, in a tank and look at it or you take it out uh, from time to time and pet uh, do they understand stuff uh, if you know any information um, like scientific information maybe uh, that people have tested on tarantulas to understand how they feel and if they have brain power um, and things like that let me know in the comments below I would love to know and so we are almost done with the drawing part I'm just adding in the fur for the tarantula uh, so after that I will show you how the full colored drawing looks like because when it comes to coloring I'm gonna use color pencils however um, I don't want to show you how to color it because I just did a simple coloring of brown and black so I will just show you how the full color drawing looks like so um, this is the full color drawing of the tarantula I really hope you like it and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me and if you would like to buy products with this on check out my red bubble shop link in the description box below for stickers books bedding material um, even backpacks and leggings all sorts of things so check it out so I hope you like those as well and now I will put some next videos for you I did draw many uh, spiders before so I will put some videos like you see here and don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel I bring a video every single day and I uh, you can request something for me to draw as well by commenting below or send me a request uh, through uh, Facebook or Instagram as well and don't forget to hit on that face logo to subscribe to my channel so then I hope you have a great day today bye